bringing houseplants into the home adds a real touch of class and a quality feeling inside. Now, whether it's on a windowsill or even a conservatory, choosing the right plants to last and give you a lot of colour couldn't be easier. Here's some of my favourites. Now, I've got to start with the all-time classic. You see it in most homes. It's the Swiss cheese plant, Monstera Deliciosa, and it's called that because it's got the holes in the leaves just here. They're really easy to care for. A little bit of leaf wipe over the surface keeps the leaves nice and glossy, and it's a real low maintenance plant. Another favorite with a little bit of flower is the Flaming Katie or Kalanchoe. They are lovely, look at this. Bursting full of buds, just waiting to come out to these bright red flowers. Now you can get white ones, you can get orange ones, and of course you can get pink ones too, and they work really well. The fleshy leaves, means that they don't need too much water, so they're really good low maintenance plants. And in bathrooms and kitchen windowsills, they go really well. And they're quite cheap too. I think they're two pounds, something similar to that. Brings a lot of color, a lot of color. Uh, another favorite while we're on colors is the orchid. Look at that. This is the moth orchid, Phalaenopsis. And Phalaenopsis is Greek for moth. And it almost looks as if there's lots of moth flying around now the secret with any orchid is do not let it sit in water. And these containers are doing the orchids no favors in two ways. One, you put water in, you don't tip the water out, its feet or its roots is sitting in water and it rots and it kills the plant. And two, these are epiphytes, which means they live on the side of trees. So when you look at it, they're actually grown in clear pots because the roots have got chlorophyll in and can photosynthesize and break down to create food. So the worst thing is taking these away from the light and putting them in a dark pot. The best thing to do is to choose a container that's glass so the roots can photosynthesize and you can also make sure that it's not sitting in water too and you'll have great success with all your orchids. Last one I want to show you is the dragon tree. Dracaena marginata, one of the toughest house plants you can get. And it adds a touch of architectural shape into any home. Deep green in the middle with these lovely red margins to the outer part of the leaf and it looks something really tropical. These plants are easy to keep and will add a touch of class to a conservatory or even a windowsill.